is welcome to um, another episode of Gaming with the Goons and today I am doing um, Pro Evolution Soccer which came out this morning at midnight but I'm doing it right now. Um, I've already started it, got too excited for it, not gonna lie. And um, I've got the legendary pack and this is my team currently at the moment on the online version of my club which a lot of people do play. So as you can see not the best of teams, but I have got Cristiano Ronaldo as one of my pack openings, which I was very happy about. And then there's obviously Ronaldinho, Pogba as well, I got Jorginho, I got uh, Pellegrini, and uh, the legendary Oliver Kahn as well for my team. So looking forward to it when uh, I go online against other people at the moment. But today I'm not going to focus on this one. What I'm going to focus more on is. Um, the actual gameplay of it. So what I'll do is that I'll do a quick match just so everyone can see what the how it goes and everything like that. So edit personal stuff. Right, so no new live update. So what I'm gonna do is obviously I'll play as Liverpool and my opponent is going to be Manchester United. Um, the system setting. Is it on the system setting? No, it might not be on the system setting. General setting, sorry. Just to make it really quick for you guys, so I'm just going to do a five minute and a half. Play on professional, which I will be doing it in um, the extra time. Uh, the um, new get uh, the two game modes Master League, which apparently has the massive improvements. So I'm looking really looking forward to that, and also gonna be doing um, uh, become a legend. Maybe it depends what everyone wants me to do, but um, Master League is the main one that I'll be doing. So let's have a look at the team. Take it they haven't up uh, updated it. So an update will be needed because players. Well, this whole team is still here for Liverpool, but players like Moreno, Woodburn, uh, Storage, um, I believe that's it. I believe Jones is on loan at the moment as well, but but Storage and um, Moreno has definitely left, so they will be, and Woodburn has gone on. I believe Woodburn has gone on. So Brewster is actually back in the team as well. As you can see him from last season in the Champions League final, which when Liverpool won it, very happy about that moment. So let's look at the Man United's team. So as you can see, it definitely hasn't been up updated because Lukaku and Sanchez are still on their team. Um, Ratings-wise, a little bit um, not what I was thinking. As you can see, Sanchez is still 85. Um, he hasn't actually played that much this year, so I don't know how they managed to put them at 85. Um, Lukaku hasn't been playing well. I don't believe he deserves a black ball, but that's my opinion. Everyone else has got their own vo uh, voice of thinking. Uh, Trent is better than Matip on our side. Um, Hendo, yeah, I agree with most of these. I believe Mane should have got a 90 instead of 89. My opinion. James Milner, 83. Which, uh, Ox didn't change. Last year he was 82, this year he was 82. The Lion is 79. He has been injured, but don't believe he deserves a 79. Maybe an 81. Or maybe even 80. Cater, he has been injured at the end of the season, but he played a fantastic season. Shakuri, Big Shaq, definitely the big man. He, is, he deserves where he is, and he's got 83 right now. I mean, he'll probably come onto the bench in a bit, uh, come onto the field later on. But um, at the moment, this team is doing very well. I'm going to put, slightly put Fabinho back a little bit. And um, I'm going to kick off straight away. So that you guys can see the difference on this. So I played it yesterday. Um, it's really good. I enjoy it. Passing has changed a lot. Words I cannot use, but the referee is still very very biased and has I believe they are blind as well in this game because um, you'll understand later on but we're going to kick off so 
as you can see from this view here. But um, as you can see from here, the view of this is uh, oh. But uh, it looks fantastic. I mean, you can probably change the view of it as well. But I'm going to keep it into this view because that's the main view that they used in the game. And um, as you put it, the mechanics of this game is really good. The graphics is absolutely stunning compared to uh, compared to last year. It looks a little bit more better. But see, it's um, uh, uh, the uh, game thinks I'm still new to this game because I'm. Obviously, I've just got it. I only played it for a little bit, but it teaches you how to play the game as well if you haven't ever played it. But I'm sure most people who have played it will end up playing it. So, and that was a terrific shot by me, by the captain Hendo. And um, so, Matip's got the ball here. No, he hasn't. So, Robertson's got the ball. Herrera's pushing it through. Van Dyke's just winning that one out of them. GG, good old GG. Robertson is on the ball. He's going to pass it down to Mane. He's going to drag it back. Play it to Firmino. Should have ran into it, but he was taken down. Um, so, I found out that um, when playing against CPU in this game, they do um, pass it quite weirdly. So, um, they sometimes go for those overhead balls, even though you got when you have Van Dyke or something like that so Trent is going through but is he going to get it no he's not uh, Hendo's got the ball he sees Firmino flies on now and he literally just misses just by by just a little bit so this was um, Paul from don't know who that was in midfield but good pass from Hendo and actually that was quite a big miss from um, Firmino but we're going to Go back into it later on. So De Gea takes the ball out. Matip against Rashford. Matip wins it. Oh, so Gigi's got the ball now, right in front of him. Oh, Firmino's got the ball. Mane. Okay, should have picked a different kit because um, Hendo's got the ball back. He's gonna lob, lob the ball over to Trent. Oh, Mane's got the ball. Mane shoots. Mane misses. So, it's been mainly my side, professional as a big team. You can see that was stats are so very poor. So, Hendo's get there first. He must have been tackled, but they say play on. So, Salah's on the ball, Salah's on the loose. Salah's going to drag it back in. Fake shot. Oh, referee has said no to that as a penalty, which is... <sighs> Hendo back again. Fabinho's got the ball. Oh, Fabinho has been tackled. Hendo's got the ball again. Milner, not Milner, uh, Salah. Hendo goes down the line. Crosses it in. And uh, comes to out by good defending by either Smalling or Lindelof. Hendo's got to cross it back in. And there! Just hit the crossbar. So close. But I believe this will be half time once he goes past the ball. And um, like I said, graphics are amazing. Um, Alison Becker had one touch of the ball so far. Liverpool has been dominating this half. And um, I don't know. As you can see, possession by Liverpool is 75% and Manchester United 25%. Don't know if it's because they're very bad or maybe just professional is a little bit too easy. I'll get onto that um, later on because if it's too easy. But I am playing, when I play... Master League, I will be playing with a team which is a league lower than this, and it will consist of, and will consist of like players who are like 60s and and all that. So it's a little bit different than playing against the big team. So I believe maybe, so this is uh, uh, Allison on the ball, uh, teaching me how to do a goal kick. Alexander Arnold, Zarko drives it forward. Finds Mo Salah. Mo Salah finds. Robertson. Oh, 
Or Mozalis' axe on the uh, Arnold Trent, Trent Alexander Arnold coming through. Crosses it, Marnie's free. <sighs> and he just can't finish. De Gea. Hendo's holding the ball up. Gigi's got the ball now. Wijnaldum. Pass to Robertson. Robertson to Mane. Mane. To Firmino. Crosses it in. And I believe that was Lindelof that passes it. Mo Salah's got a chance. The substitution. Darmian is coming in for Ashley Young on the left wing. We can do a couple of quick sub, but we don't need a quick sub at the moment. If anything, I'll do a proper sub. Mo Salah, and he's literally belted him right at the hair and has gone for a deflection in. But everyone's been a little bit tired. Trent Alexander Arnold has actually lost all of his stamina, so I'm going to put Gomez on for him. This was a good link up play. Endo, Firmino, smash right in the corner. So that was a very, very good. So Trent Alexander is coming off and um, Gomez is coming on as Trent is literally out of breath. Um, so that, uh, they have a quick substitution which has been implemented since last year, I believe, or the year before maybe. And um, yeah, it's been a um, successful one. Oh, that was very close. Forward it goes. Mane. That was a good ball. Gomez has now got it. Flicks it back in. Firmino, what was with that? He should have volleyed it. He should have volleyed it. He was offside. Firmino was just a little bit offside. Yep, his head was offside. At his leg. But I believe um, this is getting to the point where Salah has um, been quite well for the team. I believe everyone's done very well. So, uh, Matim has taken the ball. This is Gigi at the moment. Gigi goes through. Gigi takes a shot. Gigi misses. <laughs> so to be honest, I don't know what I'm saying because it's 1-0 at the moment on professionalism mode and um, I'm not even winning by a long margin or anything like that. I'm just winning at the moment. So. Referee, come on! At least he's blown for something. So can I can I get my first free kick? I'm not very good with free kicks, so. What was in? So that ends the game with Mo Salah scoring at the 69th minute. One 0 to Liverpool. It's got a trophy called Clean Sheet King. Take it because I got a clean and Derby Dominator because I probably because obviously Liverpool Man United Derby because that's a streak. It's got probably more than seventy five percent. I mean, I played a match. I got I got a few trophies in one one day, so it's been enjoyable this one. As you can see, the gameplay of it, I think it's been really good. Um, a lot of misplaced pass by me. And a lot of moments where if it was harder, that would have been that ball would have been taken, and it could have been a very crazy moment for Liverpool. But with 70% possession and 30% possession from Man United. Um, I hope that you get to watch this, um, Andrew, because <laughs> this will be the highlight of the day. <laughs> and uh, now I am gonna go to the biggest hype of this year, which is. The Master League. So my club 
everyone's going to do it. So I'm going to skip on that one. But Master League, you don't really see much of it. So this year, I'm going to start it as well. Um, I am going to go with Team Lime Up because that's what I do. So I've already picked my team. In this game, I always pick for a team which has one of the lowest stats. So it was between L Luton. So don't blame me for this, okay? Uh, any supporters that watch this. All I'm doing is reading out what they have, okay? Wigan and Barnsley, okay? So those three were more likely because they literally got um, promoted. So they're probably that's why in the league they're not that they're not at the best. So it says obviously I'll show you all the other leagues that there are as well. So we've got uh, the Jupiter Pro, which is I believe if it's Ghent and all that, that could be the Danish. Is it Danish? Maybe. And then, I believe this is, yeah, the Nords. Nords. Swedish. And then the English. French. Yeah, French League 2. Syria. Syria 2. Or Italian League 2. Eurodivisie. Ligue Nos. Which, if people don't know, is has Benfica. A Porto and all that, so that's the Portuguese league. I'm not going to challenge your one on here. It says Russian Premier League, so it's the Russian Premier League. Ladbroke Premiership, which uh, is the Scottish league. The Spanish league, which, uh, to be honest, most of the team actually do have, okay, changed a little bit. The Madrids have changed a little bit. Um, This is the second league, second Spanish league. Rafa Super League. It's got Basel and all that. So it's Yonton, Young Boys Zurich. So, ah, yep. Good old Bez Tats and all of that in it. PU, which is, I believe this league is just made up. This is a made up league. So, so these are all the other teams. These are the teams, unfortunately, they haven't been able to buy the uh, rights for. But these are the teams that are all part of either the Europa or the Champions League so which unfortunately I won't be actually I shouldn't be able to say that should I because um, they don't actually have either so um, the European Cups that they uh, they have in this game so um, then the Super League which is um, Super Liga sorry which is as you can see I think I don't have to tell you that's the Argentine Arsenal actually plays here I'm just joking Arsenal fans um, and then uh, Boca Junior versus uh, what is it River Plate so we've got that on and then Brasilia the Brazilian League oh, what is this oh the Chilean League Colombian League I should have just said the flag is right next to it. I didn't even see the flag and everything, so it'll tell you which league it is and everything. So this is uh, the Belgium, this is um, Denmark, English, French, Italian, Dutch, Portuguese, Russia, Scotland, Scot uh, Spain, Swedish, uh, Switz, Turkey, sorry, uh, Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Colombian, the Chinese League. And the Thai League, which um, I believe this is the first time that any team, uh, any of the two games, actually have a Chinese League in it. So, very, very looking forward to that at the moment. Um, I believe that is literally it. So, here we go. I'm just going to choose my team first, if you give me a second. So, like I said, oh, no, not this one. I've chosen Barnsley. Um, if you can see at the bottom right, I have actually bought... Um, I've actually got uh, Santos on there, which is my own ca built character. Um, so, they want me to choose my appearance. This is the one thing that um, they have it, uh, put onto it, which is choosing your own appearance and how it looks. Which I really like at the moment, because... Um, it lets you have a look at the past and see all those so there's a, what you want to look like in so let me see there's even Japanese players so uh, so who do we want to make Johan Cruyff no you know what 
Let's get him. Let's get Dudfield. Uh, but uh, we're going to change him a little bit. He is going to be from Pakistan. His name is actually going to be H. Oh. His name is actually going to be H. Dot. Oh. Khan. And he is going to wear a shirt. He's just going to wear a shirt. Transfer, I'm just going to keep everything and negotiation difficulty. This is the start, so I'm not actually how it goes. So I'll put it at seven minutes per game. So I'm going to put it in pounds as well so people know how much it is. The, apparently what they're going to do is that they want, and uh, they made it so that it looks like it's, um, a f uh, how do you put it? They made it so it looks like it's uh, more real, like on the transfers. So last year you could have got, I don't know, maybe like I did last year. I always used to buy um, either uh, Frankie De Jong or De Leash, and they were both costed at what twenty thousand uh, pounds, twenty million. Sorry, no, I don't know why I said twenty thousand. So they were they were put at twenty million pounds. And let's be honest, both of them and neither of them are worth twenty million pounds. They're probably worth more than that. So this year, they said they're trying to do it. So it stops during transfer. So. I'm going to put this at every five days, so it gives me a little chance of seeing what I'm working with. So, here's the start. So, here we go. Going into my new job. As Barnsley's new manager. Shout out to any Barnsley fan. Just looking at this scene looks amazing. Why do you have why do you have Sacco on here? I'm not Sacco. <laughs> Me Horace with his coffee. Good old Mr. Khan. Okay then, so that was the scene that we were all were looking at. Um, season not we've been, we have we have to set goals this season. This, last season they told you what it was. This season that you set goals maybe on what to do. Oh, the guy has discussed it. Well, with the team that I've got at the moment, I'm not sure, and this is new to me, so maybe let's agree with going to. I think maybe looking at that position because my team isn't, and it's been a long time since I've played a game, so. Oh, he doesn't like me. He's already saying it's quite a modest one, but, you know, I just want to make something which is more easier. Okay, Harris has decided what he wants to do. Okay then, so, Barnsley fans, I do apologise if I don't um, know any of your players. Um, I will try and commentate as much as I can with it. Also, uh, do expect that I will be sending a lot of players out because I look for young players more than I do keep with old players. So, I've been asked, congratulations on becoming a manager. What's your plan for the team? Are you going to introduce your preferred style or are you going to stick with the old system? So, um, 
Uh, it's up to me, to be honest. I mean, they believe in me. Which is great. If a player finds himself unable to adapt, then he'll be sent packing. So we'll see how this goes during uh, the interval. What style of football do we play? Attacking. We always attack. Defence is not over it. I want the boys to play hard. They need to know what is what. Like, I, like it says there, there's no place a player who aren't ready to lay it down at all. Okay? Thank you very much for the press conference. I'll see you guys later. I mean, I'm talking in behalf of Harris Khan's perspective of how he would become a manager. He would be very bad, just saying. <laughs> okay then, so, absolutely love this at the moment. So, just by pressing triangle, you can already see this stuff. So, season target, we've taken a look at this here. Your staff and sort have set and see no problem from it. So, the main schedule, so we've got the national team squad announcement on the 21st. 22nd, the second division gets underway. So, literally this season, maybe they've just taken out the... Um, oh, what did they have last year? So, they had a cup to decide uh, what... Uh, so the early pre-season, that was it, yeah, they say so pre-season, but this is either, maybe because I'm new, so they haven't put it into it, but... So, as my agent, I have something to explain to you. you got attention of uh, some, I think, well, yeah, so I know that. Um, breakdown summaries and all that, scouting, yep. Yeah. Training resumes, assistant coach. Okay then, so, that's that. Um, so, our first kickoff is at 2pm. And that is on the 22nd. What day am I on today? I don't even know what day I'm on. So I'm going to go to team and let's look at the game plan at the moment. So, like I said, I am. I do apologise if I butcher any of these names, but I do not know half of these people. So we've got K. Moore, Woodrow, Brown. So this is a really good lineup, but this isn't my lineup though that I use. So I'm going to change the line a little bit, which will go to a changing formation of one, two, three, four, two, one, no, no. Okay, it doesn't actually have my formation on it. Okay so mine is a 4 for 3 standard, well actually it's 3-4-3 three, three, but they don't have 3-4-3 three, uh, three, three, but it's a little bit different on here which I will change it because um, move that over, oh, move that over, put Lindsay back on. Um, this could change to a 3-2, 3-5-2 depending on how the players play. Um, so I'm gonna put myself on here as um, as a main striker with more as a second striker. Um, uh, center back looks really good at the moment. At the moment it looks okay. Where does Danny play? So let's get a defensive move. Let's get Duggle into this. Actually, talking about it, let me have a look at the squad first. So, whenever I do this, I don't go for overall weightings. What I do actually is that I look for their age, the moment, because then that's how it is. So, so we have got Davis in goal. Who at the moment he is? How old is Davis? Twenty-seven. So twenty-seven is a normal age on here. The youngest being my player, 16, 18, 5. So there's a few people that will have to go just so that I can make a few players. Lanny Pinelos is 27. So, so 
change the policy. So I need more centre backs than I do the others, but I, obviously I can always change these ones. So 26. So has the policy on for you as well, Dougal. Didn't actually know you were that old, but okay. So my team is usually a old team, so that uh, young team. So So selling him could actually get me some big money as well. So Pinnock, Jackson, Friars and Pinelos are all the players that are on. Let's have a look at the youth team see who we got. Good old Harrington, always there, always been there since um, last year as well. So that's good. Um, I'm not actually going to go for age, just the one. I'm going to go for overall age thing. And yeah suggested I thought, I thought it might have been that don't actually have that much money to be honest so probably I can't even sign these people okay then um sort out the team again so I'm gonna go for Kendricks it's 56 left Go like that. Oh, Lindsay is actually right here. Has he got the leader role? Oh, he does. So I'll change cover A to a one of my players. Bird is. This could be a very maybe choosing sentiment. These two really ain't okay, four left mid. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, let me just make sure my players. It goes down to sixty-one or uh, sixty. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep it as the way it, it is at the moment. Second striker as well. How old is Woodrow? Woodrow's 25, so he will be sold this term. So, it's going to move forward time into the next season. Well, not next season, but the next game. So, I'll do the first game with everyone. We've already got one negotiation coming through. I'm sure you are, but has changed. He should make a great star player, in my opinion. Okay. So, I don't actually have a transfer, so it was just telling me that uh, one of my players has now turned into, which is my defender, I believe, which I've just um, made into my cap. No, he's not my captain. Cover A is my captain. Lindsay is playing the centre back bit, which actually I'm going to change as well. So, um, so they change around like that. So. As you can see, he's a star player. Santos doesn't have a face, but he's nothing. He is nothing, he is. So, move forward to the next one. So, this is um, this is usually what happens in it, which I will change soon so that. So, it's every five days it gives you one here, but I might change it so that it's. Um, we've never needed, so, scouting results. Oh. And there's another one, so there's a negotiation for Covery, which I will not let go because I need him. Uh, Fryers is someone that I have put on, so let me just go to the negotiation board, scouting. All three doesn't look that good, so I'm not going to even bother looking at it. So this is, I just end the negotiation straight away. Oh, Covery is actually a right back, so I will have to put him on right back. Um, but sit, waiting for full response, valued at 50, 541,000, I'll be getting 633,000 for it. Um, 
I'm going to renegotiate on this. Um, probably have a... Try and get him for 70. I'm going to go for. Uh, 700, sorry, not 70. Um, I believe that is it at the moment. Um, oh yeah, game plan, yeah. Change it a little bit. Go back here, right back. Oh, so let's. Uh, Barnsley current club ranking is 494. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll build them to the top. Don't worry. Okay. Ooh, it actually just went straight on, so it didn't even bother with that one. So, an offer for more has been made by Hull itself. Um, I feel what people are saying, but I don't know that all that I can tell you is that Woodrow is to be transferred out. Those are the two main topics today. Um, let's go to the manager's office first, because we were national court ups. I have got a few players which doesn't actually say okay we have agreed we're gonna agree to that and more is for a whole see how much we can get for more I believe if they do want him we can get some more money for it once again apologize to all the Barnsley fans and um, but at the moment I do need some money so Fries is gonna go for seven hundred and twenty eight thousand and more they want him for 1.422 which I will renegotiate hopefully and I'm gonna go for 1.4 million 1.494 million or no yeah 1.4 million okay and then there's me gonna go to advanced search and look for any other players so that's how I always do it age you're looking at maybe 15 to 20 years old and I'm gonna look for no renewal or agents ones usually you do get quite a few good players so Bruno is 20 years old and he has he isn't actually that bad as a player. Stamina's quite low though, so he will need to keep coming on and off. He's currently rated 69. Okay. Let's look at um, loan lists. Oh, these are all the big players. Um, probably won't get a chance to. So let's look for something which is at uh, 70 odd ish, maybe. Maybe Trinkal, 20 years old, stats ain't that bad, he's got good speed acceleration, his placing kick is a little bit, for a striker isn't that good, but he could be a good offer. Um, let me just see, his annual salary is 396000 Barnsley just doesn't have any money, do they? Right, let me just have a look at my. No, I don't want that. I want a budget. I kind of need everything to come in as a. We have uh, twenty-four thousand followers on Twitter. Or whatever it is and um, met the press They've discussed this so moving forward to next which is actually our first game of the season which I am very looking forward to which we are against WBA or West Bromwich or whatever it gives us chapter one the league opener How do I feel about this match right now? I'm very excited for it. I'm 
gonna make the proud fans proud. Start as you mean to go, isn't it? So uh, let me just do a little bit of um, changes here, as um, I have got no strikers on. So you'll probably go. You'll probably stay. You two are going, so. You can come here. And then. Probably left these two here, so. So now let's see it. Get some more gets tired, and. Let's get you here. So this is my pretty much my lineup for the start. Hopefully we do um, better than I would hope. Um, we've got some new news. So the players' departure, Friars has gone, and uh, let's proceed into the next game, which is the first game of the season with a team. Hopefully this won't be. This will be a little bit better. So we'll be giving up. Oh, let's go for it. Right, so we need to make sure we get our first win of the season. First win boosts morale for the team. And also brings us more fans. That's the main thing. <laughs> we need fans. Alright then, so let's get it on. Um, so, like I said, I will try my best to go through it with you guys on how it goes. Um, it's seven minute a game. Uh, um, uh, it's a seven minute game, so. Hopefully three and a half minutes per side, but we'll see how it goes because obviously there's um, substitutions and everything, so you're looking at maybe a ten minute match or something like that. Well, so. it is that special time of the year where everyone starts as equals. Far back in the distance, memories of last season, positions and points tallies on the last day. So it's just telling me I can do skills, but um, here we go. It's kicked off. Our cap newly promoted captain Carve has got the ball, Fine, and oh, he's made a good run through the middle. Oh, Santos has lost the ball straight away. Oh, straight away. And that's it, 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil straight away to WBA. Can we come back on this? Maybe. What a, that was a quick play. Oh, he's got his first shot on target, Santos has, but he didn't convert. So Fine is on the ball. No, Grunt is on the ball. And uh, Dawson playing it back to Dawson. Moving it to Morrison. Pony has always got the ball. Oh, so there was a mistake by right my opponent, and Williams is going to take this um, throw in, and it's gone to Brown. He's passing it back to Williams because Williams made an overlap run. So he's got it through. Williams back to Williams, and Brown are bloody play. Oh, Brown's played it down. Brown has got the ball again. McGeehan, Fine, Carver crosses it in, but it doesn't get to anyone. So, so Santos is on the chase, and Fine goes down to try and get them. Montero gets into a dangerous position. Okay. Loose. Captain Carver is literally on the back foot. That is a nice ball over. Crosses it in. 
Oh, that was so close. I don't even know who he is, to be honest. But whoever might... Let's have a look. TM? Time? So that was a good one. Lindsay is on the ball right now, which he has... Well, he tried to tackle it, but... That's a really nice ball by WBA. So, as you can see, they do play a high defensive line there. Santos getting the ball back. He's got options out wide. Uh, played it too close to the goalkeeper. But Brown and um, Williams has been an absolutely amazing team. Link up, sorry, not a team, sorry. Looking for a decent ball in. Good clearance. That is good. McGeehan has taken it and it's counter attack by Barnsley right now. No one is going to McGeehan, so he's going to go for it probably. Oh, he scored all the way from the halfway line. He's literally put a run on it and he has put it down. McGeehan has put one back and it is one all currently. The manager has got a smile on his face. Without anyone stopping him, he's literally put one through. So, attack and defence. Obviously, it's telling you that you can do aggressive attack or defence. Always keep it in the middle. Unless we are winning by like about... If we're winning by one, then I'll try to put a defence on it. Bird has got the through. Out to the right. Try cutting inside here. I really need to improve on my um, crossing because I'm not doing very well with it. And first half is over. We made a mistake right at the beginning with Robson Canoe going through and converting. But then a wonder run by McGeehan and an outside, outside the area shot makes it one all. Um, currently, they've got more possession. We've got more shots. Um, been doing very well. Players are looking tired. Um, but we will keep playing on. I'm looking forward to putting Mawat on because he is on fine form. And so is Hedges as well. Um, so uh, then we also have uh, Elliot Simos uh, and Adabajo. Adabajo. Yejo. I don't know how to pronounce that. I do apologise if I butchered your name, but yes, I will. Um, Play on this at one. And uh, let's go. So he's taking it off him. Moore has taken it off him. Oh, referee, come on. That was a blatant free kick for him. Come on. Now you understand what I mean. That, like. That was a dangerous feat by WBA. And the goalkeeper, Kendricks, has actually got the ball right now. Harvey has got the ball. Going to play it through to Fine. Santos has not been able to grab the ball. And that was a silly clearance by the goalkeeper. If someone had been there, unfortunately, which there wasn't. And now we have. So, pretty much that's what they've done to me over the other side, but they get a free kick for this. Is he going to win it? He's won it. How is that a foul? 
You've got to be kidding me, right? Always put one on the line. Well, that was a nice goal. Can't really do much about that. So, see if we can get a draw out of this game now. Referee, come on. Di literally. That's obstruction, first of all. So. The, the manager isn't happy about it, but the manager is Mr. Khan, and he's not very happy, but he also gives a thumbs up just to support his team. We need to get the first game, first win, or at least a draw in this game. Do some substitutions for this game as well, just to turn it around a little bit. Put Brown on for more like this, so right mid, centre mid, and put Elliot on. I we'll use all three of my subs for this moment. Again. This is good ball retention and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. There's no support from anyone. So we have to play it back. So Bird's got the ball, Bird to Hedges. Hedges over to Carve. Carve. Santos! Oh! And his corner now. Cross it in, out a little bit. Goalkeeper's got the touch to it. Oh. Goalkeeper puts it to TMZO. Hedges has got the ball. Santos. Santos misses. 86th minute. I don't think we can win this now. I don't even think we can even get a draw. So maybe putting it on professional is what I need to do at the moment, since I'm still getting used to this. So. Oh. We've got four more minutes. So one last counter, pretty much. Oh, that was an a muscular approach. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. So, unfortunately, first game of the season, you have witnessed a loss. Um, so, saying that, I will try and win the first game just to boost morale has finally put us down. But let's see how the board goes with. Um, Derby also dropping down points. Uh, Derby getting points and Fulham losing there. Hull winning and Queen's Park is actually down at the bottom with us, but they're below us because uh, we at least have got one point out of it. Cardiff and Leeds drew. Huddersfield, Bristol Rovers. Bristol Rovers will win. Luton beat Millwall. Um, Birmingham lost to Swansea. So. Um, and then Wigan drew with Blackburn. Middlesbrough 3 1 to, uh, to Middlesbrough against Charlton. Stoke over 0 0. Brentford 2 all. 
uh, Nottingham against Preston, Nottingham winning 2 0. And that is it. So we shouldn't be that low on the league. I'll probably say, yeah. So we're mid league at the moment, as we presented. We wanted 16 or above. So we're, at the moment, we're doing very well. So we've gone to Europe's best player nomination at the moment. If anything, it will be as shown. It's Messi, actually. So. League opener, chapter two. Obviously, my. We're getting slaughtered after the Chester opening match. We've got to get our act together for the next match. It's fine, not a problem. We will. We will. It was a setback, wasn't it? Getting told off by um, the director above. Um, see what it is trending now. Hashtag. Okay, so we have agreed for him now. So we get 1.4 back as well. And let me just see. So, did we lose fans or did we gain fans? I'm not sure. But, um, so Grand, uh, Van Dyke has been told that he's in group of death. Top English second player, Flanagan, has joined Fulham from Rangers. And it's not going anywhere. So, we have got to have a look at our negotiation team. Youth. Because we are, we do need actually extra players on this one. So let's go for advanced search again. Look at transfer list. Wow, Vinicius Junior is actually put on here. Wow, not, not expecting that, but um, Ben Woodburn. How much is he? Salary is that much. We're four million now. Okay, so I can't afford him actually. I don't really actually have any money, so um, let's look at uh, let's look at others. See what there is there. Jaden Sancho. I would love him on the team, but he's too good, so I can't get him. Okay. Massive drop on it, so. I might make it 4-4-2 again. Only because that uh, that was good, but we're, we're missing a defender, which isn't really on it. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm actually going to sign a youth player. Which is um, this guy here. I'm going to sign him. And I'm also going to sign Harrington as my other one. Which then I will play a 4-2-2-2 two, two, two as my team. Um, I just need to forward time to the next match. So that them to join in uh, oh, against Fulham. This is going to be a hard match again as well. Got really fast players. Around. Just showing the new player coming in. I'm looking forward to this. Taking pictures and everything like that. You know, just the usual stuff. Harris is still wanting to play a foot bit of football. Right then, let's skip that part. It's just uh, showing the new player coming in. But, um, something. Newcomer, notice our new signings. Jackson. I'll have a little look into that one. And let's just redo the squad again. Their team, Jesus Christ. 
Sessignon is not even starting. Anyway. Changing the formation. I'm going to do 4 2 2. No, I need it so it's. Yeah, so it's like that. And we'll push these two in. What's your position, bird? Defensive mid, aren't you? So you're over this side. Williams is a. left back on you so you're going here what's Jackson what's Jackson oh, why was I oh, Jackson 25 that's what um I'll probably go for him as well and then to the actually switch it over so at least he's got him covering him Williams I want him up here Gihan, centre mid, Bird, at Harrington, over this side, Brown and Fine, um, actually, it's fine, push you up a little bit more, alright. So this is our new team put up. Uh, manager negotiations. Um, we do have a player on wanting to go out. We have got him for an extra 100,000. Luckily, we have received an offer above the ask. The terms ain't bad, but if you want to negotiate, let me know. The other manager would like to watch train this promising player at his team. Jackson is only 25 at the moment, so. But I will renegotiate as much as you like him, Luton. If you want him, I want 850,000 for him at least. If you don't, I keep a player. It's that easy. So, do one more match before I end this session. And um, I believe everyone's on form. Well, not everyone's on form, but at least we've got everyone playing at the moment. Um, fieldings, probably, actually. All right, then. Let's kick off. Hopefully this match we can get it. A little bit better. Let's learn how to do free kicks on this one as well. That corner was depressing. Got a lot to do. Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. I ran away from it, so I don't know why it, it was blown, but Fulham's back on the attack with uh, Timmy Fusomenza. Mitrovic has got the ball, but Lindsay has deal but that Fine is on the ball Santos goes for the chase okay. so do love this game I've always loved this game I've been playing it since 2017 well, the PS4 version I've been playing it since 2017 and that was a mistake right there that's good Sit forward. Now the counter. Gohan has got the ball. Pretty cagey early on from both sides. Captain has seen an opening here. So that he can cross it in and it doesn't go through. But 
we have got the ball back. He's got the one in, he's got it in, and who else are there? McGeehan. Oh no, it's Woodrow, sorry. They, they look kind of similar, the hairstyle and everything. So, Woodrow has got one in. That was a really poor attempt that Fulham should have dealt with, but apparently not. So, Woodrow is got it. Can Santos actually pick a goal out for himself? Hopefully one day he will. A 1-0 lead established. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Oh, he's got it. He's got it through. Oh, my God. He's put it so wide. He's put it so wide. Just when, just when you thought that Barnsley was going to be 2-0 up within the first 20 minutes. At least 25, at least. Well, that's a good defence. That's why. That's why. Oh, that was a good guess from Woodrow on which way to go. Wow, that was a really bad pass. That was. Okay then, so um, all we got cover has got the ball. Brown has got it back. He's passing it to Harrington, the new signing. Texare has got it. Lobs it over to Carvajal. Uh, Carvey. Um, McGeehan should have got that, and he still does. Lobs it in. Headers it. Oh, that was a double save. Actually. You would have thought that Woodrow would have put it away with one goal by his name. Um, so this match, um, Barnsley have been putting more pressure onto it. And he's going to float one over, head it in. And he can't finish, so... That's a very... Oh my god, that went flying miles over. What was that, Mickey Hand? <sighs> Just when I thought we had a chance. Okay then, so Santos is going to go on a move. Fabri sends that a long way. Okay, Harrington's got the ball. New signing. Hopefully, he's been able to do something. He sees an opening for him. Oh, oh! Why did you drop on the floor? You could have taken it off back off him. But with a lucky attempt, I will probably call it, and uh, low possession, somehow Barnsley is one 0 ahead with Woodrow's goal. And we start off again with Lindsay on the ball. Kavar, McGeehan, Woodrow. Oh, Santos is offside. He has, good, he has literally good awareness of his players and can get past them quite easily. So. Lindsay wins this header. Brown has got the ball. Fine, Woodrow, passes it to Santos, Santos sees Woodrow going through, Woodrow! Just misses it. Harrington is going to go for the ball. Fulham is a very hard team to play for the first league players, so um, Kavar has got the ball. Lindsay's playing it from back slowly. Oh, that was a very big mistake from the defender. And Mitrovic has scored an absolute easy goal because the goalkeeper isn't jumping for it. So it's 1-0 and that was the first shot on the attempt. So because of um, 
not playing it properly, that's what happens. So Santos thought he could have gone past him, but he didn't. Well, what a convincing response to going behind. They've got all the momentum now. So, Lindsay got the ball, Kavar has got the ball back, Vinay, McGeehan, which I do believe that Kavar just got tackled, and I do hope that we can get a, free, not free, get a card for him afterwards. Harrington has got the ball back, passes to Brown. Brown's got Finney on the ball. Finney has literally left it open. Hilliwell has been doing very well. Dashing forward at pace. Where's Santos gone? Finney could have actually got that, but he didn't. And um, now Harrington's got the ball back. So it's still one all 77th minute. Kavar has coming in to intercept and he does win the ball back. He's he's been playing very well. Gorgeous control there. He's lost the ball there. Not the best time to lose the ball with everyone coming through. He's left his man. So he's playing it through. Oh so my god, that was very poor, that was. Oh, that was so close. I thought we were going to lose at the last minute again. So, 87th minute. This could be the last possible chance. Barnsley. Oh, that was a very poor touch by. Oh. So it ends up being 1 0 Fulham against Barnsley. With this team, which I am starting new with, it hasn't been the best start. Um, hopefully, I can do better in the future. So, all that's gone through. We have dropped down to 18th place right now, which uh, Manager's Trust is going down, obviously. And today is the last day of the transfer window, which I've only got two new players added in. I do think that I need another defender. Last day of the transfer window. They want to buy Kendrick. They told me they need four hours to send an official over. Well, if you want to buy someone, let me just have a quick look first. Jackson has. Jackson has been hurt. Oh, nice. Jackson. How much money do I have? Don't have that much to win this. So I can. If I sell. Oh, Danny, Lib no, I want to keep him actually. Um, I'm going to see how these players. Acceleration is good, kicking power is good, jumps good, speed is okay. Placing, why is it, what is it with everyone in the placing? Right, just food. Okay then, so. Let's look at um, renewals and all of that. So. Actually, everyone's really bad. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Just gonna forget about this one. Loan list. I may take someone on loan, though.
S. Takimoto. Where's someone in the 70 inch? There's a defender the left back called Hulk, so. He's not that bad, to be honest. I'm going to request a one-year loan from this person and an option to buy transfer fee. Oh, you got a high transfer fee. Four and a half million with a player buy annual salary buyout at 136,000. So let's see how that goes. If it doesn't go well, then um, I don't know. <laughs> let's see what goes. Thought it might have broken now, but okay. Do need another I do need another striker though. So other teams Eagle has just said the negotiation is just a no. So I'm using Hendrix at the moment, aren't I? No. If you want if you want him You want him, you have him at the highest price that he is worth. Uh, okay, then. Transfer window chapter 3. He's got his head. Right, let's see how it goes on this one. Except this one. Everyone's just trying to blind the player at the last minute. That's a no. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll I'm gonna just use the youth team. Vina or Gonna go for now. And that ends the day for this. The transfer has ended. And we are against Sheffield in the England Cup. English Cup, sorry. So, messages, fatigue, I don't even know, it doesn't tell me who my, yeah that's not going to happen. So, let's go to my team now, and put, I've got Billy Sharp on their team, damn it. Sheffield's in the first, in the Premier League as well, so remember that. Um, yeah, let's put him up here. Right. Okay then, so I am going to save this right here. And I am... Saving this right now. Okay then, so I am going to end it here. Thank you very much for looking at the first view of PES 2020 and I will tell you right now, it is uh, going to be Master League that will come out first 
and then it will be become a legend that will become uh, come out after it straight away so there'll be an hour difference between it but hopefully most episodes are only for like about 30 minutes so that it doesn't bore you too much um other news that are happening we have we do apologize about not being able to go uh uh, put a little bit more videos up but at the moment Lee is away with work Grant's busy at work and um, so it's just uh, I'm quite busy this month as well but we in three weeks time when Lee comes back and uh, stuff has gone down uh, you know relaxed a bit more at work for Grant as well we will come back I'm gonna be doing videos more frequently we are also starting on new Minecraft series which is going live tonight at seven o'clock and it will, there'll be one at seven and there'll be one at 7.30 maybe eight o'clock and uh, this is uh, all there is to it for Pez and all the other guys. Oh, one more thing to say is that we will be also going to the EGX uh, which is happening next month which uh, we've all decided we wanted to go because there's games in there which will show uh, which shows which has our likings to it so we'll be doing that we'll be doing a live vlog on that so just make sure just to check out our channel so if hopefully you like this video make sure to like subscribe and make sure you share the video so everyone have a little look on what the new things like so once again thank you very much and